we go in three, two, one. What it do, Kim Folk? It's your man, Rob Carter. This is my first episode of The Spotlight. This is a show where I highlight and spotlight uh, businesses, uh, entrepreneurs, small businesses particularly, um, because I happen to be a black man, uh, black and brown business specifically. Anybody that uh, has decided that uh, they want to be their own boss, and uh, whether it be an artist or an uh, accountant or a realtor, anybody that's basically pursuing their own thing. Uh, today, I have my first guest, my guy, Robert Tribbett. What's, up, What's going on, sir? How you doing? Good, man. Good, good, good to man. have you here, time. man. I'm, yeah. I'm, first, I want to thank you for being my first guest. Uh, please, I know what you do, but mm -hmm. tell them what you do. Huh, so many hats, right? Um, I am a musician first, I would say. Okay. Uh, uh, I play for whoever needs me, pretty much. Right. Um, I really don't discriminate. Uh, outside of that, I'm an entrepreneur, I guess. I do a lot of, I do what I have to do. Right. And, you know, until I reach the status I want to reach. Right. Um, whether it's apparel, music production, video production, um, concerts, anything pretty much that has to do with artistry. Gotcha. Um, um, I pretty much try to help out and be that guy right. that people go to. Yeah. So, so, in, in a nutshell. So you said you're a musician. Tell mm -hmm. us tell us what you play. I mainly play I say this, people don't know this. Okay. Uh -oh. My first instrument is actually drums. Okay. Rob, Rob's a drummer. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. It's funny because I'm from Chicago. Okay. And when I moved to Kansas City mm -hmm. and I started playing piano, mm -hmm. I played a little bit in Chicago, but I never really took it seriously. For oh. real, for real. Okay. I didn't take it seriously pretty much about the about the time I was moved to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. So my friends in Chicago is, is, is very surprised that I play keys because uh, right. they're used to me right. playing drums. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I play keys. I play piano a little bit. I play organ. I don't really like to, but I do. Mm -hmm. I play anything. I, I can't say I don't like to, but a um, um, little bit of bass. Um, that's about it. That's what's yeah. up, man. You sound like yeah. a one-man band. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do. Right. Pay bills. <laughs> gotta pay bills. All right. Yeah. So, uh, you said you're from Chicago. Mm -hmm. How long have you been here in, in Kansas? I would say I've been in Kansas City for about almost 15 to 20 years now. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. right, I think I met you at Beacon Light uh, when I was 28, 29. Okay. So, so you hadn't been here, like mm -hmm. a really, really long time when you was playing at Big. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, Beacon Light was one of the first churches that I started playing for. Oh wow! Um, the first church I started playing for was called Beyond the Four Walls. Okay, yeah, um, I know about that one. I, I got a buddy who used to go out there. Yep. And after I left there, I went to. I've been playing, I played for about maybe one, two, maybe three, four different churches after that. Okay. Yeah, so, I don't like bouncing, it's not like I bounced around a whole lot, but. Right. Yeah. That's pretty much, yeah. Sometimes the nature of the business. Yep. All right. Yep. That's what's up. So, uh, you, 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 uh, Kansas, you plan on staying, you know, for a much longer uh, time? Uh, that's the question, you know, um. <laughs> Kansas City is a great place, uh -huh. you know, um, but it's really not a place for me, you know, I have, but I may be stuck here, you know, yeah, just uh, because I have a family. And, not a family. Um, I don't want to leave them, but 
Uh, ah, he's a comedian yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I love my family. Right? Right, yeah. right. For the record, for the record, for the record, I love he loves him. his family. Right. So, so you got wife, kids, all that. I have three kids and a wife. Okay. Um, my oldest is eleven. Okay. She's my girl. Okay. Um, my son is eight, and my youngest is six. Gotcha. That's girl, girl, boy, girl. Girl, boy, girl. Two, yeah. two, two girls and a boy. That's yeah. that's uh, that's that's what I got. That's what I am. I got, I got, I got two sisters. Okay. And I'm the, I'm the only boy. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. for you. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm I'm past those years now, so I'm I'm, I'm okay with it. You know? yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, I had to man. get me pushed around. <laughs> it's over. I got you. I'll tell you. Oh man, so uh, tell us about. Um, your musicianship side of the business, mm-hmm. um, whether it be in church or whether it be uh, just just for individuals or groups, tell us about uh, pretty much that experience. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you? I guess well, I I, I, I guess we kind of know how you end up playing for churches, but when mm-hmm. it comes to uh, playing restaurants, playing clubs, and different places like that, how did they usually get kicked off? Oh, that was strange. Um, not really strange. It's strange for me because I be- came from a very, I'll just say, religious background. Mm-hmm. My parents didn't believe in playing in clubs and playing know secular music. Know about yada, that? Yada, yada. I know about that. And so, I don't know how. I really don't remember how I started. Mm-hmm. I just remember starting. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably the devil. It might have been him. He's a cunning. <laughs> He's a deceiver, <laughs> ain't he? <laughs> He's gonna get you in there one way or another. Uh, I, I think. You know, I think what it was is my friends, my musician friends, was asking me all the time about seven for them. Oh, okay. And right. Probably for years I was like, Nah, I can't play in the club. You know, I'm right. a minister. Right. Right. God forbid. Right. And one time I just said, you know what? I'm going to just do it. You know, mm-hmm. if you need my help. I don't mind helping. Yeah. And I just remember going in nervous. And <laughs> I just, I'm just to tell you the truth. Going there, right. like, trying not to use no profanity and things like that. I'm going here and these chicks going to be all on me. Right. I'm going to have to fight them all. Right. And it's just, just so, it's just going to be penny draws and liquor being slung everywhere. And, you know, <laughs> it's going to go down. <laughs> it's going to go down. I'm going to go to hell, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to come out and yeah, repent. <laughs> You know, and I just remember the first time I played, none of that happened. Right. None of that. <laughs> nobody no, looked at no me. Penny nobody, draws, no penny no, draws. No, no chick said. Hey. And they had one female say one word to me. Wow. I played. I packed up. I left. Right. And that was that. That was it. Right. And that was the beginning of me playing at secular joints, joints right, or right, clubs right. or whatever. Juke joints. And it's pretty much been like that. Every since, oh, yeah. um, just because Kansas City is small, I get to somewhat build a relationship with some of the artists right. and some of the people that sing. Right. Um, but outside of that, I typically play, pack up, and leave. Maybe I'm just a lame. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you That's know, my life. I, 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 I say it's responsible. Mm-hmm. That's what it is because I I, I know uh, a few people that kind of do the same thing you do. Mm-hmm. And um, some people have learned to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, some people have learned to do your job. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Go home. You know, yeah. the more you hang around, you know, mm-hmm. the, the, the oh. devil's coming. With the- <laughs> Outside of that, you know, I hang around because it, it got to the point to where I didn't want to come off. I'm sorry. You good? It came, it came to the point where I didn't want to come off as... Uh, you know, we can get these labels on. He's arrogant. He thinks mm-hmm. he's all that. So right, I stick right. around. Right. And I have conversations. Kind of converse a little bit. Converse, right. hang out a little bit. Right. Still the same scenario. I never had anybody do anything or say anything. Now, it's, clubs are dangerous places. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Right. You, stuff can happen. Stuff can happen. But, you know, by the grace of God, nothing has ever. Yeah. I never had to encounter oh, anything so playing at a club. And... Maybe it's not for everybody, but yeah. right. You know the crazy thing about it is, man, is is people. I feel like people, dramatic people attract drama. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so I think you know you you seem to be uh, the 
Clark Kent mild mannered, you know, <laughs> piano player. So, you know, you're not going to attract too much, you know. Hey, he, you know, know. <laughs> if I don't know you, right? You, right. I mean, not say you're doing words, right. Hey, keep on moving. Hey, how you right, doing? Right, right. Right. Hey, God keep, bless you. Yeah, you know, right. I don't. I don't know. Right. I try to be, like I said, cordial with everybody. Be nice and. It's not so much what people think about you, but I just do it for myself because gotcha. I know me right. and I know I'm not arrogant or none, none of that right. stuff. So I don't know. Right. Anyway, I got you. Yeah, so. Man, you have an amazing studio. I wish y'all could see the, the whole uh, thing. Uh, but a bunch of junk. what? My... <laughs> <laughs> bunch of junk I pissed, pissed together over the years. <laughs> Push buttons on, right? That works. Right. Yeah. Uh, so. You obviously do recording as well, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you uh, you are for hire as far as working. Do you take clients if yeah. they they want to cut an album? Yeah. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer playing or do you prefer engineering? Playing, really? Yeah, I don't consider myself. Um, or producing, I should have said engineering slash oh, producing. I say producing, playing and producing. Okay. Um, actually, I'd rather just produce. To be honest with you, really. Uh, Overplaying. Overplaying. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like the creative aspect or is... I like the creative aspect. I like more than... Uh, I'm a little different. I'm mm -hmm. not I'm not so much into my ideas and what I think. Mm -hmm. I like to pull in the artist's idea as well. And that's, for me, more important than what, you know, what I have going on in, my, in, my, right. in myself. Right. Um, just because nine times out of ten, it's their song. It's if it's not their song, it's something they have to, I guess, perform. Right. And even though m majority of the time they don't have a clue of what they want, they just want to do something. Right. Some, and that's not a bad thing. Right. Um, I still try to pull their creativity out of them because it's like I know you got something right you, and right. don't wait till I finish the track <laughs> it's like, I don't, come up to me and tell you. I don't like that I don't like I'm what been, you did I've been there man I've been there you, you in the bouncing process yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. can you add more can no you just like, look, look, right. it's, it's, it's done it's you know what I'm saying I, I asked you did you, I, I sent it to you I asked you did you like it yeah, it sounds great. I yeah. All right, because okay, right. it's going out right. today. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, but I have a whole process even with that. But mm -hmm. that's but yeah, I'd rather produce and have other people play. Oh, right, um, right. I only have so much stuff in my house. Mm -hmm. Really, kind of just to lay down down the idea. Gotcha. Um, then on top of that, it's like, what can they afford? Um, if you can't really afford to have someone who's actually plays the drums more than I do or better than I do or whatever you want to use, mm -hmm. um, then I I'll I can knock it out. Right. It may take me ten years, but I'm gonna get a good take. <laughs> right. <laughs> Somewhere in that ten years man, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, yeah, that's typically yeah, I'd rather I'd rather produce than do anything else for real. I'll feel you on that. that. The major thing is not overworking yourself and not exhorting yourself and not, you know, right. wearing yourself out over somebody else's song. Luckily mm. for me, most of the people, you know, are kind of musical and they all, I rarely get uh, people who have, I'm right. not going to say that. Right. I, I rarely get those people who are not creative right that's, that's, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> that's a nice that's a nice way to put it right. um i usually get people that get to me you know and right. i get them they get music right and like i said most of the time they know what they want anyway right you know do you want live drums? now it's, you know this needs live drums you know that's that's mm -hmm. you can't i'm not you're not going to tell the drummer how to play the song it's not that's not going that deep right. too right you right. know Listen to it. Is the key okay? Can you sing along with it? Yada yada yada. That's it's not. It's really not as uh, cut as as I made it seem. Mm -hmm. It's really like check the key. Key is cool. Right. I finish that intro, the right. verse. I get to the bridge. This right. is what I'm thinking for the bridge. Is right. that cool? Cool. I finish the bridge. 
I don't need to go back to you after that because after the bridge, it's we, pretty much it's pretty much out, right? Yeah, right. man, I'm learning stuff yeah. from you, brother. I just, look, <laughs> you go back to school. So um, I understand that you are uh, moved into kind of a new venture, mm -hmm. uh, retailing uh, or selling uh, instruments and equipment. So yeah, tell us about that a little bit. So. Uh, um, it's something I wanted to do for a long time, mm -hmm. um, man, for years, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I had visions of have just musical crap all in my storage room over there. Mm -hmm. Then something came down from the sky and said, that's not a good idea, Rob. Don't do that. <laughs> so I just put it on the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, what had happened is that before the pandemic, I was preparing myself to do not so much shows on my front porch, even though that was part of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to go like to the outside at the plaza. All right. But Rob never likes to do stuff small scale. Oh, you Sorry. Go big, go big and go home, man. <laughs> so I went and bought all of this equipment. Mm -hmm. um, to like us, because I didn't want I. I'm an advocate of giving people a good show. For right. lack of a better word. Right. I don't care if it's gospel, right. R&B. I don't care what it was. Right. I want them to be able to hear. I want the singer to be able to hear. I want the band to be able to hear. Right. So long story short, I went and bought all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And the person I bought it from, um, Aaron Billings, shout out, um, was like, why don't you just sell this stuff yourself, Rob? Like, you're a musician. You know musicians. You have musician friends. They're going to need this stuff. You know singers. Mm -hmm. They're going to need this stuff. Right. Eventually, somewhere along the line, I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. Light bulb. I think I will do that. Mm -hmm. And so my thing was, like I said, I always wanted to do it. And in my mind, I'm a very calculated and complex thinker. Right. Everything makes sense once you see it. Like, right. oh, that's what you was talking about. But me trying to explain trying it, to explain. Got, got you. Right. it. It never works out. But my, my motive has always been, even in this space, like I was saying earlier, if you can't mm -hmm. afford drums, I can just play drums for you. Right. Right? Right. Um, so my thinking for artists, um, especially the ones that are starting off, mm -hmm. the ones that are good, <laughs> you can edit that out if you want. You probably <laughs> won't. <laughs> <laughs> it um, but the ones that are good, I want them to be able to get their stuff out. And right. this stuff costs money. It's yeah. like, you're not... And I kind of foresee where concerts and things are going. I don't think people are really going to believe me once it, if I say it. But mm -hmm. again, I want an artist to be able to be able to do a show, have a good sound, mm -hmm. have a good band. Right. And that's why I just decided to start selling the, the equipment, equipment, audio equipment. Hmm. Um, whether it's a 16 channel, 32 channel, 64, is that out of that is up to the individual. Okay. Um, I have something for everyone, of course, is, and I want it to be at an affordable price. Gotcha. Of course, <laughs> I need to make money, right? <laughs> no, you don't. That's 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 not a that's not a that's not a part of it. You know, that, that's not a part. You say of that because I really that, haven't that, made that, any that, money that, doing that. any of the stuff that I've been. I just been giving it away for the last. <laughs> My family is not happy with me, you know, because I. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a heart, and it's hard for my heart to like charge people sometimes, even right. though I do charge them. And it's funny because when I do charge people, this is my caveat. You can edit this out. When right. I do charge people, mm -hmm. they don't want to pay, and I'm like, "You ain't gonna get nobody else to do this. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? You sitting on YouTube watching my videos? All right. You're very yeah, impressed yeah, yeah. with the quality of work. And then when it comes down to it, and I'm like, man, look, it's two fifty. You get all look. this for two fifty. Right. Hello. Yeah, I, <laughs> and that, like, come on, man, like, you, you you ever get the one where you're messaging and you give them the price yeah. and they don't ever hit back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. <laughs> And you never know because you really don't know my prices, right? Right. But when I get somebody that I think is not talented, mm -hmm. I give them a crazy I'm price. Like, like, <laughs> you're gonna you go because because you're gonna cause me to work so I'm hard. I'm telling you, man. So I'm gonna have to charge you a little extra. I, right. I have to. 
and they pay it. I'd be like, how come the ones come that are the not ones good? That? <laughs> <laughs> they got the money. And the, and the, the ones projects that, I don't want to take right, on. The projects I don't want to take, they can pay for it. They pay for it. But the ones that are good, they don't want to pay for it. And, like, and then they'd be like, uh, you want me to give you a shout out? No, don't no, worry. No, no, you want to be in my video? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, 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 fact, I'm more behind the scenes. Don't even put my name on it. Don't True story. You might that could be a blooper. I don't know. Anyway, that's why. <laughs> bring it back home. That's why I started selling um, the audio equipment because I want to give I want to give artists because I know they're going to need it. Right. In the long run. Right. Because that's just where we're headed. Right. You're going to have to be able to put a show together. Yeah. And I'm sorry that people are not going to be calling you. I mean, a matter of fact, I even see it to where you're going to have to start paying the club for you to perform. Wow. You think? That's so I think we're hit. Man. It's a rough time. It's a rough time. Uh, it's a rough time, man. And even these clubs, same thing. Like, <sighs> the, sound is not, the sound is not up to par. Right. At all. Right. And... Looking like you playing in the first joint that uh, oh, Five man, Heartbeats like, played in, in the, <laughs> on their God, first. Uh, oh, bro. Like, y'all got. Uh, and then it's like. It's. I don't want to say that. I'm not going to say that. It doesn't. It's, it depends on who owns it. Mm -hmm. Because some people that go into um, owning clubs and things like that, establishments, they think once they get it one time. Right. They don't ever have they to upgrade, have to, right, and right, and repair. That man, look, and they, and they just pretty good without seeing no, without seeing the demographic, did not? <laughs> no edits. <laughs> it's like you go to church, you look up, like y'all still got these octagon speakers in here. <laughs> Where y'all getting this stuff from? Quit playing with me. Oh uh, man, you replace that v vintage awesome guy. Oh man, like. <laughs> I'll tell you, and again, man. I understand that stuff is expensive, but you have to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Bro. You got to start investing. You invest in have yourself. to. Man. So that brings me to another question: mm -hmm. What made you? What made you decide that you didn't want to work for somebody else for the rest of your life? What made you? Because that's that's to me, that mm -hmm. is one of the biggest questions to be answered on this show mm. um there's a lot of people that want to be entrepreneurs want to work for themselves they, they wake up every morning hitting the alarm clock five and six times just simply because they don't want to mm. do where it, what it is that they got to do mm. when did it happen for you mm. uh what was the last job you worked at mm. um uh full time and uh why uh what was it that said dude i got to I gotta do this. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta jump out of this window and hope to fly. It's kind of a, kind of a long answer, but it's really not. I guess I can, I think I could dumb it down. Mm -hmm. I've been a musician since I was a teenager. Okay. Um, I remember, like I said, I've been playing drums forever. Mm -hmm. um, about around high school, grade school. Maybe sixth or seventh grade, I started playing piano. Okay. Um, and I remember going all through high school playing, really playing the drums. Like I, my dad would make us play at church mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. I couldn't play anywhere else, but with him. Oh, okay. I couldn't even play. I don't even know. Sign <laughs> note. Like anybody, you know, I could, you know what? I can't tolerate it. I do tolerate it mm -hmm. when. Like if a kid gets on an instrument, he can't play. I right. can tolerate it because in my mind, after service, I want to give you some pointers. Right. Right. But anyway, um, I when I moved to Kansas City is when I really decided. Nope. I moved to Kansas City, and I started playing for my for a church. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to play for a church. You didn't want to play for that church or just church I period. I didn't want to play for church period. Gotcha. Um, I had a job, I was working at ADT, mm -hmm. and I was cool, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I figured, I don't know, I didn't, I don't really, never, I, you know, I have dreams and aspirations, don't get me wrong, but I was cool working at ADT, I didn't, 
and I had a car, you right. know, I was cool. Right. Um, and you said you had a car like that was the only thing you had, yes. and you was living in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that you said. That's all I had. I had a car. up in the hood, yeah. you got a car. <laughs> hey, you don't need a house. Hey, <laughs> Your house is trash. Hey, my car. Right. I can tell you about my right. car, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got no furniture, but <laughs> pull up, okay, pull up to a ramp. box outside. <laughs> <laughs> I get twenty twos on a car. I'm telling you. Right. Uh, yeah, so uh, I start playing for this church, and I'm playing, I'm playing, and I'm not going into detail about it, but okay. I start playing for this church, and out of a sudden, I'm like, you know what? It's one of those epiphanies. No, that's what it was. I was I was working a twelve hour shift at this job. I was working ADT? overnight at ADT. Mm -hmm. And so, and when I get off off of work on on Saturday, I would have to go straight to church, and I'd be butt tired, Spool. and I couldn't. You know, it was getting really hard to do. Mm -hmm. So then I ended up quitting ADT because I'm like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> the Lord told me. Uh -huh. It's time for me to go into full-time ministry. <laughs> and at the time I said that, I really did believe it was the Lord telling me to do that. So I, I surrender. I, <laughs> I remember one time, man, so I know. I'm going to get off because I'm waiting your minutes. I was in, man, I was so tired on my lunch break one time, dude. Mm -hmm. I put my, I was sleeping in my car, dude. I slept my entire shift. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how that job kept me. It's like, were y'all or were y'all not looking for me? That's right. Like, what in the I didn't world? Get a, I didn't get a phone oh, call. Nobody <laughs> text. Nobody call. Nobody knocked on my window. Like, dude, you just been asleep for a long time. Anyway, the Lord told me to quit, you know, and that's when I um, decided to, you know, just play at church full time. Mm hmm even though it wasn't full-time money. Well, um, now, but, about, about how about how old was you when this happened? I was about 24. Okay. 23, 24. Okay. Um, yeah, and I was living with my parents. Mm -hmm. I was a good kid, so mm -hmm. they, didn't have, they didn't have much to worry about. I'm, you know, I'm a good kid, so okay. I was a good kid. I don't know mm -hmm. if I still am. Probably not. Nah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so they didn't have anything to worry about you know what I'm saying so I was living with my parents mm -hmm. making a little of nothing mm -hmm. uh, started climbing a corporate ladder mm -hmm. as a musician right. then I became the pianist right right then I became the minister, Min the MD MD right then I became the minister of music right, right. Then, then you know right. so every every time you go up a tier you get five you extra five. dollars <laughs> month. Hey, you just put them dollars <laughs> exactly. up you know, hey, to the y'all yeah. need to pay y'all time. Right. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I started, you know, making a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I had no dreams of leaving, leaving my parents' house at all. Right. Um, I'm sorry. That's, I, my I, parents I, never... If you got it good like that, man, why hey. step out there and get some bills? So I know I tell these kids all the time. Mm-hmm. Like if you get if you get in good that good with your parents, mm -hmm. travel the world. Don't don't spend your time Facts. in America. Facts. Travel the world. Facts. If your parents don't mind you living with them, you ain't a tr you, problem, kid. Right. You don't have to know. travel the world. Oh, they die. That's 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 big, man. That's big. I you know what? So one thing I regret. Only thing. That you didn't do it when you I could when you had the. Freedom, yeah, to be able to do it. Right? So you talk about me living in Kansas City. Heck, mm -hmm. no, I don't want to live in Kansas City the rest of my life. I actually mm -hmm. want to see Tibet, right? But I can't go to Tibet by myself. <laughs> I got five other people. I got to. <laughs> you know how much yeah. that is. Right, right, right. And y'all ain't pick anyway. Just, how much it costs to go to worlds of fun with Jesus, five people? Come on, right? man. Shoot, we tried to go to Sky Zone the other day. Like, you want to trap a lane? Man. Come on, man. Quit playing with me, man. So look, we gonna get one of them put in the back, y'all. Exactly. You can jump all day. As a matter of fact, put these pillows and jump on that. <laughs> <laughs> Shoots, man. But, uh, yeah, that's what kicked it off. So, I got married. Mm -hmm. And that's when I went back to corporate. Mm -hmm. Because that was a whole yeah, deal. Yeah, right. 
because I get married. <laughs> yep. Um, People can't eat me. I went back to corporate. Mm hmm. And all while I'm at corporate, I kept saying to myself, my and uh, my employer, whoever I was supervising, <clears throat> we used to just talk to me. And I'd be like, I'm finna quit. <laughs> and she was always like, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, no, why am I here? Mm -hmm. I can make this. If I do play here, play here, play here. Mm -hmm. I can make more than I'm making here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Less time. Yep. It's like, and you love to do it too. This is what I love to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's really when I got married, I decided to say, you know, you know what? That's enough. Oh, wow. it. Right. Um, and I just, I just jumped. Mm -hmm. She was on board. I don't know if she really, really was on board. <laughs> But it was the other thing was that we was having our first child. It's not mm -hmm. when I get married. It's when we got married. I stopped, decided to have my first child, mm -hmm. and we was like daycare. Boy, you kids are playing. Boy, I'm quitting. Boy, and I'm going to take care of my kid, and I'm going to do music at the same time. Boy, actually, what I, my plan was was to just do music until she get into kindergarten. And then I was going to go back to corporate. Oh, okay. But gotcha. my wife had different plans. Mm -hmm. She just kept wanting to pop them out. <laughs> so. All by herself. Yeah, all by herself. You had nothing yeah, to do with that. Do that. They I ain't just, gonna get into that conversation. <laughs> but <laughs> tell you what, <laughs> that's what it was, that's and, what it was. And, and, and so it's a little bit of my will, and I guess God's will at the same time to say mm -hmm. you're not going back. You're not going back, right? And I will. This is very important. What I'm about to say right here, okay? Because the problem that I get into, especially being in this pandemic. Mm -hmm. Is that I wake up almost every morning mm -hmm. and I say to myself, I'm signing up for school and I'm going back to corporate. Really? Every morning, almost every morning. Really? Yeah. Well, what, now, what makes you say that? Because we have this thought process, mm -hmm. a lot of people do, mm -hmm. that if I work for corporate, I'm more secure. Right. We, yeah. We yeah. believe yeah. that we're more secure. Yeah. And there is a, there is a sense of security that is built not by you. No, e there, no, there isn't. No. Okay. Explain because that. Because they can let you go just like we was talking earlier about people that let us go. Mm -hmm. They can let you go just the same with no excuses at all. No reasons whatsoever. That has happened to me as well. This is Even true. Even in corporate. This is true. So it's like, what am I going back to corporate for? Right. So what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. How do I how do I boost my ego or my self esteem or whatever you want to do so I can get up and hammer this out? Mm -hmm. I know this is what I want to do. I know I'm in the right. I know I'm. In the right. Last couple of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, first, um, why don't you tell us how people can get in touch with you? Mm -hmm. And but before you tell us that, mm -hmm. tell us are there any uh, projects that you're working on now? Any there any artists that um, that you assisting that you know they don't mind mm -hmm. you know shouting out or mm -hmm. uh, any what's basically what's next for uh, uh, your company company name and all that too mm -hmm. we need that we need that as well yeah so my um, audio company um, um, retail company is called uh, Rojo Crew um, mm -hmm. and it's coupled into the couple of things we come we install okay um, again we have every just about we just we just um, got equipment for you to live stream, um, so we're ready for that. If you need that stuff, anything you need, audio mixer boards, um, I got you. Um, so that's that. All budgets, all budgets. Um, you know, I mean, I guess I can say all budgets because free is not in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> stuff cost um, right. but I I really want to help so gotcha. don't worry about me Okay, right. I, I right. got you I'm on YouTube um, you can just type my name Robert Tribbett um, last name is spelled T-R-I-B as in boy I-T-T -T. Um, uh, Rojo Crew you can type that R-O-J-O Crew, C R E W. Okay. Uh, I'm on social media, Instagram, and Facebook. Just type my name, same spelling. Okay. Um, 
I have another living room experience coming up. I'm going to have a special guest this time. I have some more videos coming up with um, a male artist I'm working with, okay. um, as well as a male, male group, same mm -hmm. group that was in the Christmas video. Okay, cool. Um, Good video. Yeah. If y'all ain't seen it, check it out. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I appreciate you, man. Yes, uh, let me put the spotlight on you. Uh, if y'all need anything musical, this is the man. I heard his uh, socials. Get in touch with him. Appreciate you being on the spotlight. Appreciate it. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. Get motivated to come on up. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. I'm motivated. I'm coming up. Get motivated. Come on up.